It may always seem like a good idea to take a dip in a pool or at a beach during a warm day. However, there are some places where you shouldn't even think of swimming in. Don't go in even if any of these places seem quite appealing to you. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 5 places you should never swim in. Number 5. The Boiling Lake what makes the boiling lake in Dominica so downright dangerous is the presence of scalding hot magma beneath its surface. This magma induces the water to reach the temperature of boiling point, literally causing the lake to boil. Yikes! So if you've ever scalded yourself with boiling hot water, you'll know the pain that this lake would cause. The pain would be worse, however, in that after a few brief moments, your entire body would be surrounded by the stuff. If you'd like to avoid the warmest swim of your life, then obviously we'd recommend that you avoid the boiling lake. But what about somewhere less obviously dangerous, but even more deadly? Number 4. The Yenisei River Russia's Yenisei River divides western and eastern Siberia, flowing north before emptying into the Kara Sea. The Yenisei is thousands of kilometers in length and passes through several major cities. It's also a major source of hydroelectric power. Many Siberian villagers depend on the river for fishing. In addition to being an important waterway, the Yenisei is also severely radioactively contaminated. A bomb-grade plutonium factory near Bolshoi Balshug has been discharging radioactive particles into the river for decades. Radioactive isotopes have been found hundreds of kilometers downstream from the factory. Nevertheless, the management of the factory insists there is no radiation danger. Around 64,000 people live downstream near the factory, not to mention the many more that live along the river within range of where the radioactivity has been found. Statistically detectable increases in rates of breast cancer, leukemia, and genetic defects have been found in communities downstream from the plutonium plant. Despite the radiation fears, those who live on the river still eat fish from it, hoping they won't get sick. Number 3. Bubbly Creek a name like Bubbly Creek might sound harmless and inviting, but the waterway itself is not. Bubbly Creek is the local name for the South Fork of the South Branch of the Chicago River. In the early 20th century, the flow of the Chicago River was reversed, sending it toward the Mississippi River and away from Lake Michigan, in order to keep the river's pollution from entering the city's source of drinking water. This reversal has made the river all the more difficult to clean up in the years since. Bubbly Creek is considered the worst part of the river. It gets its name from bubbles rising to the surface from the area's chief pollutant, decomposing animal carcasses. Meat packing waste, including blood, manure, urine, and various body parts was dumped into the channel by the nearby Union Stockyard for over a century. These bubbles still appear even today, as the creek is so polluted that very little lives there, slowing decomposition. Bloodworms are said to inhabit the creek, feeding on the waste. In 2014, a study found a layer of animal remains on the creek bed that is one meter thick. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working on a project to dredge Bubbly Creek as well as improve the water's oxygen content. Number 2. Hanakapiai Beach The islands of Hawaii are well known for their beaches, but some of those beaches weren't meant for swimming. Hanakapiai Beach on Kauai's Nepali coast is one of them. Yet another beautiful but potentially deadly location, the beach lies at the end of a steep, rocky 3.2 kilometer trail. Hanakapiai's remoteness means that there are no lifeguards and no hope of immediate rescue. This only adds to the beach's primary danger, powerful rip currents capable of pulling even strong, experienced swimmers out to sea. These rip currents are almost always present, and there's no reef to protect the beach's shores. Also, the geography of the region is such that the nearest safe beach is 10 kilometers away. There's simply nowhere to go. More people have drowned at Hanakapiai than any other beach in Kauai. The bodies of 15 drowning victims have never been recovered. A sign stands on the beach with a tally mark for each drowning. There are over 80 marks. Visitors are advised to stay out of the water entirely. Number 1. Horseshoe Lake Horseshoe Lake in California has everything one could ever want for an outdoor excursion. Boating, swimming, sandy beaches, picnic areas, 
hiking trails, and over 40 hectares of dead trees. That last, more unique feature is the result of a series of small earthquakes in 1989 and 1990. These quakes open pathways for carbon dioxide to rise to the surface from magma below, eventually killing the trees. While there's little danger of a volcanic eruption, a potentially lethal risk lurks in the Horseshoe Lake area, as the gas levels fluctuate unpredictably. A family could have a picnic on the lake one year and be asphyxiated the next. Warning signs are posted around Horseshoe Lake to inform visitors of the danger. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air, making lower areas such as depressions in the ground or the shore and surface of the lake more dangerous. Most of the time, Horseshoe Lake is safe. However, fatalities have occurred due to the gas. A man died on the lake in 1998, and three ski patrol members fell into a snow pit on nearby Mammoth Mountain and asphyxiated in 2006. And that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And while you're here, you may also check out some of these other awesome videos on our channel. See you next time, guys.